Hello everyone, Galaxy King here, and today I'm giving you guys my pure product plant deck build. Personally, this deck is really good and it's one of my favourite decks to play at the moment. So let's get into the deck profile. Starting off, you want to play your free basic uh, product plant Office Scorpio. This is one of the best cards in the deck at the moment. If you guys don't know what its effect is, uh, basically, when it's normal special summons, you can discard one product, one monster. As well, summon any pro plant monster from your deck, so it's very good. It's a really good card, one of the best cards in the deck, really, and it does help you uh, put off the combos very good with this deck. Next, I'll play three the plant Camellia Sundu. This is basically your fusion on legs. If you guys don't know what its effect is, basically, once per turn, uh, you can fusion summon uh, one monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as materials and then if a monster on the field has a priority counter on it you can also use that monster as well and it is treated as a dark monster and I play two Proto Plant Spinodonia you guys don't know what its effect is uh, when it's normal I suppose somebody can target one monster on the field to place a priority counter on it and monsters with a priority counter become level 1 if they're higher than level 2 and when it and also has a second effect and with battles with a monster with an equal or lower level, you can just summon one pro plant monster from your deck. So this is basically like your second off with Scorpio, if you want to treat it like that. Works well with Dying Toyo Cobra and a few you can pull off quite good combos with Spinodania, so it's a really good card. Next I'll play one Diflosium Hydra. You do want to see this guy in the graveyard a lot of the time. Uh, basically if you don't know what its effect is in the graveyard. Uh, with two knife players, then you can banish one other purple plant monster from your graveyard. Uh, target one monster on the field, it loses 500 attack points. So it is really good if you want it in the graveyard, which you do need it in the graveyard. And then you can also summon this card from your hand or graveyard by attributing one monster with a predator counter. So you can basically, it's sort of like you could count it as a kaiju, but it also summons from the graveyard, so it's still your kaiju from the graveyard if you want. Kind of that. Next, I play uh, free Seraktion. This is basically your Karibo of the deck. Uh, if you guys don't know what its effect is, uh, once but no, it's not once per time. Uh, when a post monster declares a direct attack, you can just summon this card from your hand, and then when this card battles an opponent's monster, you can destroy that monster as well. And then when this card is defeated by a battle or card effect, add one product card from your deck to your hand. So this is really good if you want to keep the deck running. And you want to make good comebacks, especially if you're in like a tight spot with, say, Dino Light Swarms or something like that. And then I play two Squid Rosia. This is a really good card. Uh, she doesn't know what its effect is. When it leaves the field, place a Predator Counter on every special summon monster your opponent controls. So this card does work well with the uh, Diflosium Hydra and the uh, Chlamydia Sundu, since they all have. But to counter, you can spell summon from the hand, graveyard, or fusion summon as well. And also, you uh, you play one Proto Plant Banks Yoga. This is your Proto Plant Tuner. It's level 6, so you do need to be mindful about what Synchro Monsters you are summoning when you're using this card. And next, I play one Proto Plant Cordyceps. Uh, you do want this guy in the graveyard. Uh, if you guys don't know what effect is, once per turn. During, during, sta during the standby phase, sorry. During the standby phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. You'll summon two pro plant monsters, two level two level four lower pro plant monsters from your graveyard. Unfortunately, you can only fusion summon for the rest of the turn. So you do need to know what you're doing when you use this effect. So if you probably want to summon your Chlamydia Sundu or your Dinotonia Cobra when it has an added effect. And I play one Dinotonia Cobra. Uh, most people do know what this effect is with the Orphan Scorpio. And Darling Tony Cobra, so I don't think I need to explain what it does. So once I put all effect to get your fusion, fusion card. So as if the Proplant Monsters for supporting monsters, I play two Lone Fire Blossom. And the reason I only play two is because I only have two, and this is a very monster heavy deck. So since it has 24 monsters in total, so that's the reason I play two. And then I play one Distrudo for your synchro plays. Uh, also works well with the dice since it's a dark monster and you do need dark monsters for the fusion summons. And then I play one Glorot Bulb for your to get into your crystal 
Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Uh, so you can just go in for a lot of plays of this card. And then for your hand traps, I play free Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. And then moving on to spells, I play free Predator Pruning. This is basically your monster born of the deck, and you target one Predator Plant monster in your graveyard. Spell summon and equip it with this card. So it's very good. And I play one Predator Pronix. This is another good card if you want to play. Yeah. And then, but if you don't know what this effect is, basically once per turn you can spell summon one Predator Plant monster from your hand or graveyard, but its effects are negated. So it's very good if you want to summon Starving Venom. And it does work well if you're trying to get monsters for Link combos. And then I play one Ultra Polymerization for your Link combos. Uh, if you don't know what this effect is, basically pay, pay 2,000 life points, Fusion Summon one monster from the extra deck, and then you can banish this card from the graveyard to so summon the materials of that Fusion Summon monster. And then you can just go into your Deco Tour. So that's a pretty basic uh, pro plant link combo you can do. I won't go into combos in this video because I haven't got much time. And it will take too much time. And I play your two basic polymerizations, and I play one fusion substitute. I also play one fusion recovery and one refusion. Because being able to keep the deck going by drawing cards and add, putting them back into the deck and getting your materials back and sort of them back is very good. And then for draw power, I play free Allure of Darkness. Since most monsters. Well, almost all monsters in the deck are dark monsters, so it does work well with this deck. And I play one Twin Twisters, and the reason I play one is because uh, I found that when I was playing two, it did become very cloggy, and it was a problem. And then I play one Foolish Burial, and that's it for spells. Onto traps, I only play one uh, Solemn Warning, and the reason I play one trap card is because, it's, as I said, it's a very monster heavy deck, and there aren't that many spells. So there's only, uh, that's the reason I only play one, because there's only room for one trap card. And then onto fusion monsters, uh, I play your boss monster of the deck, two Cyber Venom, Fusion Dragon. This is a really good card. If you guys don't know what its effect is, uh, once the card is fusion summon, you can tackle one special summon monster your opponent controls against attack equal to that card's attack. And then once per turn, uh, you can type once on the field, it gains its effects and it becomes that card monster's name. So it's very good. And then I play two Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. This is your this is your, your second boss monster of the deck. Uh, if you also know what its effect is, uh, once per turn you can target one monster on the field. It its attack goes to zero and it has its effects negated. And then when this card's destroyed, destroy all monsters on the field including yours so that's a bit of a problem and then you can banish your Slime Villain Fusion Dragon or one level 8 or higher Dark Monster resummon it so it's very good and then I play two per plant Camille Flesia if you guys know what its effect is uh, once per turn you can target one level 7 or lower monster on the field banish it and then when this card attacks or is attacked it your your opponent's monster loses a thousand and this card gains a thousand and then when this card is destroyed, during the next standby phase of either player's turn, you can add one fusion or polymerization from your deck to your hand. So it's very good, it's very powerful, and you do want to summon this most of the time. And personally, this is better than Simon Venom if you want to get out on the first turn. And then for your Synchro Monsters, I play one Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. Uh, if you ask not, well, most people would know what its effect is by now. So. And then I play one Black Rose Moonlight Dragon because being able to shuffle an opponent's monster back into the deck, even if it's taken a lot to uh, summon it, it is very funny and it will annoy the opponent and it's very good. And then I play one normal Black Rose Dragon to basically destroy the board. And I play one Queen of Thorns. This deck, work, this card works really well with the deck since all monsters are plant monsters and each player has to pay a thousand to, to normal or special summon a monster. From the hand that isn't a plant monster, so that's very good. And I play one Scarlight Red Dragon Arch Fiend, really good card for this deck, and one Bills or Diabolical Dragons. Bills and Red Dra and Scarlight do work well with the Greedy Venom combos since they're both level 8 dark monsters, 
so they do work well with summoning 3D Venom. And then I play one Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, really good card uh, in stack, and there are combos to get Deco Talker out, this guy, and can move Felicia out in one turn, which I will go over in another video, uh, so you guys know how to play this deck. And for Lake Monsters, I play one Deco Talker and one Psychologic Bomber Dragon. So that's it for this deck for the stack profile guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, le subscribe, leave a like and leave a thumbs up and I'll speak to you all later.